What up, my man and society? It is your host with the most, Shadow Loke. Back at you with another video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and are subscribed to the channel. It's absolutely free. That is how you help my channel get into the algorithm. I highly appreciate you. Go ahead and do that. Now, what I want to talk about was I was having a conversation on my other channel, right, with one of uh, my subscribers, right? He had said that on a video I had mentioned about Point and Shoot, which is a channel. You know, if you guys want, you guys go, uh, you know, subscribe. Go check out his channel, right? So he's basically um, an individual, right, who does videos uh, pointing out the lies and the misconceptions and, you know, other channels, right, uh, that he knows that are trying to manipulate its audience, its subscribers, trying to take advantage, manipulate, lie, you know, et cetera, right, to its viewers. You know, he doesn't think that's right because it isn't. He is 100% correct on that, right? But... The individual said um, that he thought that I had said that about individuals who who don't live the life right but claim to know right about a certain lifestyle. You know that they don't know what they're saying. You know is in facts right their assumptions. But that you know how come I watch this channel right I support this channel. Now I support a lot of content creators right. Uh, there's a lot of channels out there that I support and that I watch right. Um, you know, some are big channels, some are small channels. I tend to su to support more smaller channels than bigger channels, right? Um, because bigger channels already, you know, have made it, right? These other channels, you know, I know how it is when, you know, other channels don't, you know, you know, seek to help, right? So, you know, um, I like to help other channels, you know, um, because, you know, I feel like it's only right, right? Um, but, you know, Point of Shoot is a, it's a bigger channel. Now, I don't like the drama. I don't like, you know, the bull crap and nothing like that, right? I don't follow drama. I don't like, you know, hearing about it, stuff like that. But when it's an individual, right, like point and shoot or triple OG for that matter or uh, other individuals, right, out there, you know, chemo flicks and et cetera, right? When they do their content, I support them, right, because I like where they're coming from, right? Like no one told them they and they, they didn't do it for the views, right? They just started doing it because they felt that it was wrong that these people are lying and, you know, falsifying it and shit like that, right, to take advantage of, of the people watching. So, you know, I can always tell, you know, people's motives and angles, right? And um, so, you know, obviously I'm going to support that message, right, because they're doing it because they think it's morally wrong, not so much that. They're looking to gain growth, you know, and all that. Now, when they started, you know, now, you know, asking for subscribers and, and stuff like that. Hey, bro, if they made that, you know, their, their channel and their movement, then, hey, they're entitled just like anybody else on here, bro. I don't see nothing wrong with that, right? Because what they started it for was in a good place, right? Um, and they're still being consistent and just pointing out people's errors and flaws, right? Now, just because I support these individuals doesn't mean that I 100% agree with the tactics or agree with what they're saying, right? Um... Because like point and shoot, you know, a lot of the stuff he's saying is on point, right? Like a lot of the stuff that he points out is, you know, is true about what how these people are and why they're doing what they're doing, right? But there is from time to time where his anger, his dislike for these individuals will get the best of him, right? And he'll maybe, you know, you know, read too much into it or tend to pass some things as facts when he truly doesn't really know if that is facts, right? Like there was one he said on Whack that um, he knows for a fact that Whack works with you know, law enforcement, but you don't know that for a fact, so, you know what I mean, like, you know, you could think that he works with that, right, but saying it, that he, that's the actual facts, when you actually really don't know that that's facts isn't right either, right, even if they do behave like scums, you know, to say that that's actual facts when you don't know that that's facts, it's different, right, compared to the stuff where he's saying that this is just his opinion and stuff like that, but he's on point because, you know, it is right, right, but like I said, not to try to persuade the audience opinions on these individuals, but more, you know, now, you know, making people aware. And now, you know, he leaves it upon them whether they want to choose to still support and watch. He doesn't be like, yeah, all of you guys need to stop watching this guy and, and listen to what I'm saying. Anyone that watches this guy is a piece of shit. He doesn't do nothing to that. He leaves it up to the audience whether they want to, whether, you know, they believe it or not or whether, you know, whatever, right? He's just making them aware of stuff. Which is righteously, you know, the right thing. And, and what I see, why I support a lot of these guys compared to maybe other people out there that do similar content, right? But they're over here not trying to persuade people away from their channels or try to persuade them to view it from their angle. These people are merely just pointing it out and letting the audience come to the conclusion themselves. And I, you know, I righteously, you know, respect that, bro. 
So that's why I could watch some people and I can't watch some others, right? Because even though their content may seem similar, right? They're both doing videos on this channel and, you know, pointing out the, you know, lies and stuff like that, right? But one channel is actually leaving it to the audience and it's not trying to get people's persuasion. He's not trying to steer them down his way, right? While this one is. You get what I'm saying? So that's why I could support one and not the other, right? Because um, even though they seem similar, they're not the same, right? The, the reason they're doing it is not the same for the same reasons, right? Or how they go about the matter, right? Even though they seem similar. Um, that's why I could support, you know, one, some, and not support the others, right? Because, you know, he was wondering, like, how come, you know, I don't like these channels, but then those channels, but they're doing the same thing. Uh, even though it seems like it, they're not, you know? If you go if you go and watch those, you know, channels that you had mentioned, right? And and, and just really pay attention to the to the um, narrator, right? The person that's making the video, right? The one of the channel. You can see that this person's trying to convince you not to watch this channel and to try to steer you away while this individual is mainly just pointing it out and, and he just leaves it up to the audience whether, you know, they want to choose to keep, you know, supporting or not, right? You know, while this person's actually trying to convince you and trying to get you to see it his way, this person is merely just giving his opinions. So that's why I can support, you know, one and not the other. Um, you know... You know, it's just details like that, right, that, you know, I come to my conclusion on on individuals, you know, um, you know, and their characters, right? Because small details like that are very important. Small details like that, you know, could make all the difference in the world when it comes to, you know, talking about somebody's character, right? That's why, you know, I have said this before, like when... Like when they trial somebody for murder, how come they could release some murders and not the uh, and not others, right? Like they all committed murder, like so you know, isn't it the same thing? Like no, depending how they murder, that's why there's different branches of murder, right? Um, because it does matter how they murder the person, because how they murder the person will tell you if you're going to be able to rehabilitate this person or if you're just not going to be able to rehabilitate this person. Compared to somebody who got in an altercation with a person, they got in a fight, and the guy. You know, ended up dying, or you know, he, he they're fighting, and he he grabs a rock and he hits him in the head, and the guy dies. Right? Compare that to this person, stalked him, kidnapped him, took him to a secluded area, tortured him for three days, chopped him up, and threw his body throughout the place. There's a difference in the murder. Yeah, they're both murders, but there's a big difference, you know, when it comes to uh, their state of mind and if you're re you're able to rehabilitate somebody or not or like how deep does this problem root to right because there's some people out there that are really good like some con artists right that they try to play it off but it's those small details that you're able to tell that you haven't changed you know you're still the same person you know because a lot of these con artists when they get you know called out you see a lot of youtube you know uh channels right you'll have some people that get exposed right and then they just you know they shut down their channels and they take off right because they know that, you know, that they were wrong, right? You have other people that get exposed and they have no shame. They'll still keep making content and pretend like it never happened or pretend like, like if, you know, that they weren't exposed or pretend like if it's all gravy. Those are the ones that, you know, they haven't learned, bro. And they really think that they could outsmart and outplay everybody else, bro. That people are that stupid. That they could just trick a new, whole new batch of audience now. You get what I mean? They have no shame. That's why, you know, they're just continuing to do them, right? And just pretend like it never happened, right? And now calling out people on the very tactics that they used before, too. Right? The hypocrisy. That is the worst kind of con artist. And they don't learn because you still get glimpses here and there of their old behaviors. And there's those little signs here and there that will tell you that this person has not changed and they're still the same, right? Now they're just trying to you know, hide their errors a little bit better and try this again. Let's try this again. <laughs> yeah. You know, the shameless people, bro, will never change. You know what I mean? Um, that is how you know, you know, when people be like, no, nah, well, they change their ways or like what? Like, so, so people uh, can't believe that people can't change. No, they could. But little details like that shows you that they haven't and shows you who they truly are. Because little details like that are actually very important when it comes to uh, judging somebody's character and overall seeing if they're actually being genuine with their apologies and if they're sincere about what they're doing. But I'm just saying, you know, there's a video just, you know, set a breakdown, you know, that hopefully that helps you um, now understand it a little bit better. Saying, shout out, we out.